Right, here we are then with our first season in the Premiership. Of course, it's all about consolidation this year and seeing what we can do. But first of all, let's have a look and see what the board have got us planned in to do. Right, so, reach the last 16 of the FA Cup. Possible. Finish mid-table. Possible, but could be difficult. Uh, sign two players of 20-year-old with a potential higher than the current average. We can do that. Uh, grow two players by 10 points and play them in 10 games again. Sign one crucial player assigned to a midfield or forward position. Gain 108 million from shirt sales in a season. Wow, it was only 27 last season. Uh, Continental, we're not in. Uh, and Financial, we haven't got above with as well. So that's not too bad. We do have 77 million pounds to spend plus 29k wages. So this should be pretty interesting what we can do. Right, so I have filled up this already with some options of players that we could go for. Essentially, we need to assign one player who is a top midfielder or forward. I'm looking at Jao Felix. 88 rated. Value of 72 million. They want 96 to 144 for him. We've only got 77. But the magical release fee. 66.9 million release fee. I think we should go for this, really. I think we should go for this. Uh, he's going to be a fantastic option for us. It's all down to whether we can afford the wages. That's going to be the main thing. Uh, let's see what happens. Definitely going to be a massive, massive boost for us if we can bring this guy in. Huge, huge boost. Great striker for our squad. He's on 105k at the moment. We're going to make him crucial. Which is what he wants. We're going to offer him a five-year deal. Does he want that as well? He does want that. Please tell me how much you want to be paid. You want 125k. It's a big amount of money, but we can do it. And there we go. Jao Felix joins the club. And that's got to be that board thing done. It is done. Sign one crucial player. So Jao Felix, that is a massive, massive signing for us. A huge, huge signing. What that does then is that puts Esposito onto the bench, probably. And then it brings... Jao Felix into that striker position for this squad as well as for our main squad as well. And it also means Esposito comes onto the bench for the other team as well, doesn't it? Uh, so Team A and we'll have Esposito starting. Right, so we need to just uh, tidy things up a little bit now. I think we've got a lot of players on the transfer list. We've also got players on the loan list as well. So we'll see how that all goes. See who leaves. Of course, we've spent the majority of our money already, but there are other options out there. There's more money from, of course, the preseason tournament and from player sales as well. Uh, let's have a look at the Youth Academy. Any players here we want to bring in? Uh, 81 to 94 is locked anyway. 84 to 90, CDM, we'll have you. Um, 86 to 94, left back, we'll have you. You can stay. Yes. Florin Marinescu is now ready as well. 90 to 94. We'll have you up as well. And apart from that, we'll leave the rest to progress. Is that another bit with our youth progression done? It is. There we go. We've signed our youth progression players. We've signed. We've done pretty well. We've actually started pretty strong in completing a couple of our to-do lists already. Two of our high, uh, high priority ones done. All we've got to do now is just sell them shirts. And now we just need to grow the two young players by 10 points and play them in 10 games, which possibly we could do with the players that we have. So the two players we just signed up. So let's do... Right, let's do the left back, who is uh, Zhang. Let's do you. Uh, adapts defending scenarios. And let's also do you again um, with... Uh, what else is there? Race against the clock. Okay. Let's also do uh, the new lad Marinescu. We'll get you on adept attacking scenarios. We'll also get you on... Uh, what else can we do you for? Race against the clock. And we'll do another one as well with you. And that should hopefully get you up pretty quickly. Uh, there we go. we we'll do that as well. Okay. So let's get this underway. These two guys want to get up by 10 stat points and then play in 10 games, of course. It's going to be difficult in the Premiership to do that, though. So let's start moving forward. 
I still can't believe that we've uh, just signed Jao Felix for Sunderland in our first, our first couple of days up in the Premiership. That's absolutely mad, isn't it? Absolutely mad. Be interested to see how this all pans out now, because I've got some changes I want to make in the squad. Um, it's all down to the players that we can get a hold of, I suppose. And the players we're bringing through as well. It's taken a while to get this first couple of days underway with the simulation. But I'm looking forward to this now. Right, here we go. Great job of youth progression. We've done that. Happy as Larry. Uh, we put a few players on the loan list, a few players up for transfer as well. And we're going to get a game against PSV underway. Uh, transfer budget increase. We've already done that already. Loan offer for Marcos Antonio. I'm tempted to try and sell him, but... I'm going to keep rejecting the offers for now, I think. I would like to just sell him, to be honest, but we are using him a bit here and there, aren't we? Um, right, so let's go on to our main squad here as well. Let's take Esposito off and put him on to the bench in place of Davis, I suppose. We'll switch him around to there. Uh, and then Davis. Ah, this is annoying. Half our players are away on international duty. So we haven't got a good squad for this. I've just set that up and we haven't bloody got Felix available or Ferreira. So Millet, can you play attack in mid? De Catlier can. Okay. So let's bring you in. Uh, let's also bring... Uh, let's bring our Gilmore onto the bench. He's available. Ampadu is unavailable. Um, Lakovic, though, can play centre-back. Do you want to play Lakovic or centre-back? No, let's actually play the young lad because we want to get him levelled up as quickly as we can, don't we? So, where are you, my man? There you are, 64 rated. He went up five stat points last season, which is pretty good. I'm not sure how this is going to work these first couple of games with uh, missing quite a few big names. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It's a 1-0 win. Vash man with a goal. Excellent. I was getting worried about that, I must admit. I was worried. That's a good, good start for us, though. Beating PSV 1-0. Uh, interest shown in Sandro Tonali. That's a player I want, but we can't quite afford as of yet. Do we have any more training boosts? Um, manager career. Uh, okay, next five training sessions are going to be double reward. Okay, we'll do that. Excellent. We need that. Should we also do another Scout a Future Star, or is it not worth it now? Ah, let's do one. Why not? Why the hell not? Right. Um, so, interest shown in Tanali. I do want Tanali, but we can't afford him at this point in time, not unless we sell somebody. Um, 47 million from Monaco. And Haaland is in for 57. Okay. I don't know what there's much I can do, really, in the situation with Tonali, apart from trying to offer a swap deal. Um, we can't afford that, though, can we? I've got no one to offer them anywhere near that value. So I'm going to have to ignore that. I was hoping to sell a few players and then go for Tonali, um, but it looks like that's not going to happen. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Calgary... Oh, Caglieri, should I say, is our next game. Transfer off for Jallo for 14.2 million. I have put him on the transfer list, but now I'm worried because we don't really have any other players available to replace him at this point in time. Again, I was hoping to bring in a couple more centre-backs, but we don't really have the money. I didn't realise that was going to cost us so much in wages. I do have a couple of centre-backs on here in the... Oh, we've got... Canate for 36, up Makana for 36 as well. So they're two players we could look at, but I need 36 million to buy them first. Which is a risk if we don't get enough money in. Uh, right, let's get the game against Caglieri. I mean, this tournament's worth a decent amount of money for us as well if we can win this. 2-1 victory. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I'm happy with that. That should hopefully put us through. I would hope. Not oh, yes, it should be guaranteed now. Yeah, we've got Getafe left. Both of us are the top two in the squad. So there's no sign of Jao Felix. Is he back now from international duty? That'd be nice if he is. 
Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, are they back now? Is everyone back? No. Why are you moaning about me not playing him when he's not bloody available? This freaking game. This freaking game. Right. Getafe. At least we're going to get a decent amount of money just to get through the group stages now. Oh, we lost 2-0 though. Which is not ideal. Um, but it's not terrible. Not the, not, not the end of the world. Uh, so we're going to get some prize money and go through to the next knockout stage. Let's continue leveling these guys up. Of course, we've got double um, results now on the training for the next five sessions. So Zhang goes up a second stat point. Um, how much do we get for that? We got 1.3 million. That's not very good, is it? It's not very good at all. Well, that puts us up to a budget of 4.55 million. Right, next up we got transfer offer for Silviera. Okay, that's fine. Turns out he doesn't quite have the potential we were hoping so we can sell him. It's not a mass amount of money, but it'll do. Right, Bordeaux is the next game coming up. Be lovely if we can get a victory here as well, get some more money in the bank. Come on, lads. Yes, getting 3-0 victory as well. That's pretty impressive. Very impressive. Right, so... Let's switch to the finals against Getafe, the team that beat us. Um, loan offer for Simonson. We will accept that. Give him some first team football for a season. Hopefully develop into a good player. We've got another 2.25 million for getting through to that round. Alright, we're looking good now. It's just this Katafe game. Hopefully, we might get one or two of our players back for this Katafe game. Uh, Silviera has been sold. Transfer off for Kuto. Again, another player who hasn't quite got the potential we were hoping. Another couple of million pounds in the bank for that one. Um, right, so let's have a quick look and then see if any of the players are back ready for this game. I would love to have some back. No, Felix is still out, Sturgeo is out, Matondo's out, Ampadu's out, and Ferreira's out. Disappointing. Um, I'm just a bit worried with the... Well, he's played every game so far. Let's continue on with the 64-rated player at centre-back. If we win this game, we're going to get an extra like 10 million quid to spend, so it is a very, very important game for us. It could make a big difference to any more spending. We lost 2-0 to Katafe last time. We beat them 5-4 on penalties. Get in! Not even our strongest team as well. We beat them 5-4 on penalties. And we get ourselves another chunk of dough. Lovely. £36 million. Pounds. Okay. Is that it? I'm sure we have more than that. Well, they're very happy with what it. I'm sure it's like £16 million. It might have been £6 million. I might have completely got it wrong. We've got £11 million pound in the bank. Which is not enough to buy anybody of any real use that we need. Possibly I could spend it on a new youth scout. Um, I feel like we're just going to have to really lever these players up as quickly as possible once again. Get them up to where they need to be. I mean, we do have a strong first team squad. It's just down to trying to get that second team going as well. Have we got youth scouts? We have got youth scouts out, haven't we? They are out, aren't they? Let's have a quick check. Youth staff. Yes, they're going back in a couple of days' time. Okay. That's good. We've got 13 million to spend. Because we sold Kuto as well. Simonton's gone out on loan. Um, right, here we go. Youth scout reports. Right, Holland. What have you got for me? You've got a lot of... Ooh, hello. Max Voss, 76 to 94 potential. You are actually good. You cut me off when I was about to say how bad everyone was. That was the last one from this country, okay. Next up, we have got Italy. Can you find me a good Italian before we leave here? We've got a 70 to 94 we'll take. 
I don't think he's going to be any good though because his current ability is very, very low. And finally then we have Russia. 77 to 94 left back. I'll take that. Um, and I think that's going to be all for Russia as well. It is. Disappointing once again. 11.3 million for Matondo. Again, a player that we brought last season for not a lot of money. We think we paid like 3.5 3 million for him. Um, again, he's not quite got the potential we were hoping for. So he's another one we can let leave. I'm happy enough with that. Maybe we might have to have a much smaller squad this year. Transfer offer for Leonardo Castro. Again, another player who doesn't have the potential we were hoping. We're gaining more money. We might have enough to actually purchase another player in this window. We're selling quite a lot of players now. Right, that's Zhang up to a 59. That's three stat points for him now. Right, let's keep pushing then. Hoping we get to the end of the month, we're going to see some improvements elsewhere. So, loan offer for Wiek Rozek, the centre-back. We'll accept that. Again, if he's getting a season of first-team football somewhere, that's going to be much more beneficial for him than sitting in our academy doing nothing. A loan offer. Oh, I wasn't going to loan you out this season, to be honest. But it's a. I think I should do, yeah. I wasn't going to loan you out, but to be honest, if you're going to get a full season of first-team football somewhere, it probably is worth letting you do that. Uh, Habits is being sold. Matondo's gone. Uh, and... Oh, just... Are we going to accept this Antonio deal? They're just going to bring him straight back, as I've done before. It just gets them uh, off my back of being annoying little gits. Um, okay, Castro's been sold... Benfica want Antonio on loan for the season as well. Great, just go. It's kind of bothered with many more. Right, so where's that leave us now office-wise? We have £26.9 million to spend. And we have a pretty decent first team. Um, we've actually got a, an injury to Jao Felix now. Uh, so let's go with our default squad, which we probably can change now. We don't necessarily need to be in this formation anymore, do we? So um, we could go with a... See, that's not bad. Uh, we probably want wide players, actually, don't we, in a cam? We want wingers in a cam, not uh, midfielders, I think. So I want um, a cam and wingers behind one striker. There we go. That's probably that one. Or do we want to go with the defensive mid... No, we want to go with that one, probably. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to end up being uh, Felix. Then we're going to have... Yeah, De La Vega and Doku. Um, De Catlier can come off. Uh, actually, no, De Catlier can probably go here. And then we're going to play Ferreira as the attacking midfielder. Where are you, Ferreira? Are you on the bench? You in Oh, there you are. You're on the bench. Okay. So you'll go there. Or do I want to do the way around? Centre forward... Maybe, maybe that's the better way around. Um, so if I did adjust position, if I move you... Oh, God. Made a right mess of that. Does that go down as... That still goes down the cam, not centre forward. Okay, so maybe... Uh, which one is it? The other 4 3 three is better. I mean, he can play striker, so... He can play striker, so that's probably the better bet. I don't know what I've just pressed. I've just pressed loads of buttons and it's gone mad. Okay. Now, I think I'll play like that then. Um, Castaneda alongside Ampadu with Vajnaman and a right back. We don't have a right back anymore, do we? We sold him. So, the best young wing back we have, I suppose, is Linz. So, that would be the team that we go with at this point in time um, with... Uh, we'd have Esposito on the bench. Uh, we'd have Jalo on the bench as well. Um, with Millet. Um, so that would probably be the team that we go with. Uh, with the players in the academy, a pretty decent. You'll probably go out on loan. Okay, so that's not a bad team for now. Not a bad team. We've got a bit of depth. We've got 
a bit of money to invest. Uh, like I said, probably the right back position is the one that we could work on. But then again, Linz we know has got a pretty good potential. So maybe it's worth playing him. Uh, Antonio's move has gone... Right, he's gone to Brighton for the year. Transfer offer for Jallo. I don't know if I want to go for this now, to be honest, because I've got Castaneda and Ampadu, the main two centre-backs. So do I really want to buy another centre-back? I don't think I do, really. Tonali, that deal's gone through. Okay. Rodrigo's just moved as well. Um, Kai Havertz has just moved as well. Uh, we've got this guy called Rayner. Who apparently is very good as well. He's got a good potential at 90 plus. Um, Fatty. Uh, Haaland has just moved. Karnate has just moved. So up Makano is available. Uh, delete we can't afford. Um, so it's not ideal at this point in time. Is there anyone else we can think of that's probably going to be worth going for? I mean defender wise. Let's see what the... The scouts have just literally been scouting strikers, have they? Okay. Jao Pedro. Okay. Um. Well done. Okay, scouts. You've done a fantastic job there of finding absolutely no useful players for us at all. Thankfully, um, I do have uh, Sophie for open on my other computer. So let's have a quick look and see if there's anyone we could consider going for potentially. Uh, Miltau. Here's one, Danny Olmo. What position are we looking for then, defender-wise? Um, there's Zagadu from Dortmund. We want a right-back, probably, don't we? That's probably the best option. So if I can put positions right-back. Okay. What's that going to find us then? Trent. Uh, there's Emerson. Frimpong, I've already sold once. Reese James. Reese James in a bad shout. 87 potential. Might be the best option, actually. Or Wan Bissaka. Let's have a look at. Um... There's a guy called Emerson from Betis. Okay, let's have a look at all of these then. So we've got Emerson from Betis. Emerson, who is a right back from Betis. Uh, he's not been. He's at Arsenal. Oh god! I don't know if he's just moved there. He's moved since 2021. Okay, we're in 2022 now, so that is a different season. That's good. Um, we've got Juan Basaka. 49 million. He's worth. He's 87 rated as well. That's probably uh, that's, that's doable. That is probably doable, isn't it? Uh, Max Aaron's from. It's not a bad shot, actually. Max Aaron's from um, Norwich. 22-year-old uh, right back. Release clause of 19k. He could be perfect for us then. Um, who else is there? Miltau. Hakimi. Somebody called Bruno Tavares, who can play left back and right back. All the Strasbourg's Simakan. Let's have a look at Simakan. Sim. Ah. Uh, Can. There he is. Right back and centre back from Saint Etienne. Um, it's gonna take a long time for some reason to scout him. Because we've already got Vajman. We did. We could have a look at left back as well because Vajman can play left back and right back. Uh, so let me also add left backs to my list. So I just remember about Vajman. Um, what difference does that make? Renan Lodi from Atletico Madrid. Okay, that's another interesting one because he's got a good potential. Uh, Renan Lodi. Hmm, 85 rated. 33.7 mil release fee. He could be actually a very good option for us. A player we can afford straight off the bat. Uh, there's also Sessegnon. I'm liking Max Aaron's though, I must admit. I wonder if we can go straight in for Max. I've got a plan, right, of something I want to do, and I don't know if this is going to work or not, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, let's have a look and find Max Aaron. So you're, we don't know how good you are yet, but we're going to approach you by. You've got a 19 million release fee, though. 
Um, it sort of destroys what I was thinking. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's let's go into let's go in for him. Let's begin negotiations. Let's see if I can get him for cheaper than that by using uh, a trick that I spent all season developing. Player swap, wingers, uh, Jared Bowen. Oh, 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 it's going to work as well. Okay, so we're able to get Max Aaron's quite cheap then. Um, so two million. Two million plus Jared Bowen for Max Aaron's, please. They'll take it. Lovely. I mean, it's probably a risk going for this without checking him first, but he does have a potential of 85. So we know he's going to be pretty decent. If we can build him up a bit and get his value up, then he's it's just going to fit straight in our team as well, which is pretty useful. Um, right, so we're going to tell him he's going to be rotation, or is he going to want to be important? He wants to be important. Okay, that gives us an idea that he is probably quite good. Uh, one for five years. He's still got a lot of time left, so he can definitely progress him pretty quickly. He doesn't want a release fee. We're going to accept that. Um, let's see if he's going to be happy. Tell us all your wages he wants. Please tell us your wages. Ah, oh, I don't know what you're on at the moment. I'm going to offer you... Oh, this is stupid. 10k? 10k a week? Is this not enough? Oh, oh. That's why you've always got to scout people first. Right. Well, at least we know we can get him for that deal. So we're going to keep pushing forward. Uh, we're going to let the time pass. We're going to get the scouting done. And I'll find out how much wages is actually on. Uh, so Ferrari's gone out. Transfer offer for Alpha Ran will accept. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that I did that. I knew it was going to be a problem. I just knew it. Right, Scout has returned with a new young player. Fantastic. Right, Chao Gomez. 85 to 94. All right, get in the club. Uh, 75 to 93. 70 to 90, Greco, you can go. 75 to 93, 74 to 94, 77 to 94, 75 to 89, Kwame, you're gone. Um, Neves, you're gone. Bruno Ferreira, you're cutting it close. Uh, Backman, 79 to 94 is not bad. Esposito, oh, Backman, are you? I reckon Hulk Backman is our new um, player. And uh, Max Voss already. Yeah, well, I reckon Backman's our new player from the uh, from the Scout Future Star, you know. It's a possibility. Um, so do we have any good ones here? We've got 66 here, Marius. And we've got 64 uh, for you as well. I wonder if we can, like, use in Dynamic Potential. Does Dynamic Potential work if you loan a player out? That's a question. I'm going to Google this quickly because that's a question I want to know. So FIFA career mode... Um... Dynamic potential. Nope, that's not worked out very well. Leave uh, career mode. Dynamic potential loan still counts. Um, right. Uh, player can take transfers. La 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 la. Dynamic potential. Potential loan glitch. What's that one then? I don't really want to use glitches, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't quite know. I can't find anything, like, that shows you exactly or tells you how it works, but I'm assuming that loans would work. I'm assuming they'd be smart enough to do that, so I wonder if we should actually just take some of these players in and loan them out. I don't know. We're leaving there for now. We'll see how they develop. Uh, right. Let's do the scouting. I'm not scouting, the training, sorry. It's end up going to be quite a long video, this, isn't it? We're already at half an hour, and we're not even halfway through our time. We'll have to start powering through now, though, won't we? Uh, we've got all of August and uh, all of September to do it. We're not too far away, then. We're starting things off against Brighton and Hove Albion in the league, which is not too bad. Uh, Alpharan's been sold. Loan offer for Franson as well. I'm hoping that the uh, dynamic potential is going to work well on loans because we are loaning quite a lot of players out this year. 
which is good to see. Of course, we want to finish. We want to just sort of consolidate our place in the league this year. I think our, our first team is strong enough. Um, however, I feel like we haven't really got much depth. But let's see how we get on. First game of the season away at Brighton. 1-1 one, one draw. Okay. Okay, not bad. I'll take a point. I'll take a point. Right, let's keep pushing forward then. Let's get some more training done. Marinescu's doing well. I want to try and get these players up. 10 points, don't we, so we can start using them more. Uh, let's keep pushing. A transfer offer Jallo. I have actually got Jallo on the transfer list, which is why we're getting so many offers for him. Um, but I was under the impression we'd get someone in to replace him. But at the moment, we're struggling a bit monetary-wise, aren't we? Right, let's see if we can get Aaron's in. Um, I don't know if he's been scouted yet or not, but... Um, where is he? He's been scouted yet? Doesn't look like it. Um, Lodi, Tenali, Havertz. Um, where are we? No, he's further at the top, isn't he? Uh, wan -Bissaka. I just don't know if any of the other clubs were willing to take Bowen. That's the only reason why I've decided to go for Aaron's over anyone else. But this Emerson guy as well. Let's just keep going. We've got a bit of time left in the window. We've not got a rush, have we? Um, oh, I forgot to send the scouts back out, haven't I? I have forgot to send the scouts back out, so we're not going to get any training from them. Uh, okay. I feel like I might fire and get the five star five stars in now we're at the top there are no five star five stars available at the moment okay we're just gonna send brendan o'carroll out then and we're gonna just try and keep an eye for some more five star five stars when they come available um where are we gonna go to i think scotland we've not done that in a while let's do scotland what are you trying to do so my cat just mounted my lap and she's uh had a really weird angle and she's just sliding off and having to hold her in place get on if you want to be on get on properly is that properly well as close as you're gonna get you're so dumb I oh, she jumped off now right second game of the season first home game it was a derby against newcastle it's a 3-1 loss not ideal not ideal it is what it is though Keep pushing. Uh, we got more scouting news yet? Come on, tell me about Aaron's. I want to know more about Aaron's. As we level up, Jiang Marinescu is going up as well. Uh, Arsenal next. That's going to be a big game. There we go. Scout report. So. Emerson got a loan offer for Warrior Zirak. That can be accepted. Oh, so we're not really we've only learnt about Emerson, nobody else. Okay. Emerson, 23 million, 82 rated. Uh, it's not bad, but Ricardo Rodriguez. Seven and a half million. For a, a 78 uh, it's not bad actually, is it? I know I'm always looking for these young players, but I mean, for a couple of years, 7.5 million might not be a bad shout. I don't know. I don't know. So we're still waiting for more information on Aaron's then, aren't we? That's the one thing we're waiting for from the scouts. Let's just double check. Um, so this is going to be blank. Yep. Two players I want to get checked so I can see if I can get them or not. We know that Aaron's worth 40 million. I don't know what wages is. That's what I need to know is what wages is on. I don't really want to guess and end up either overpaying him or again losing the deal. So it's Arsenal next. Let's ignore the Jalo offer for now. Uh, 
Um, right, Arsenal. It's a 2 0 loss. No goal for Jal Felix yet. Not scored at all yet in his career with us. Which is disappearing. Disappearing. Disappointing is the words I'm looking for. Got Gillingham next. I think we'll keep the same team. Just try and get the. Uh, just trying to get the guys to play better. So trying to get a bit of confidence in the team. So we'll stick with them uh, against Gillingham. Should be an easier game for us. How's training going now? So Marinesco's up five, and Zhang's up five already. That's good. Loan offer for Teaser. And uh, let's let you go out as well. We've got a lot of players out on loan this season, so hopefully we're going to see a benefit from that at the end of the year. Uh, you've been loaned out. Good. How's our squad looking now? It's probably looking quite shallow, isn't it, because the players we have loaned out. Oh, we've still got a few. I wonder if Davis should be a player with and Vlakovic. Yeah, there's a few more here, isn't there? Let's have a look at the squad hub. Um, so exciting prospect Davis uh, I need to give you a new contract should we delegate the renewal uh, let's do that four and a half grand okay that's fine it's perfect excellent so let's put you on the loan list um, we need to keep Zhang uh, let's take you off the transfer list uh, let's add you to the loan list. Uh, Linz, we're going to keep you. Uh, let's loan you out as well. Akuna will keep. Ardvark, you can be loaned out. Marinescu, we need to keep. Gilmore, we're keeping. Uh, Max Antonio has gone out to Brighton. Um, Teaser's on his way out on loan. Chao Gomez. You can be out on loan as well. Then you've got potentially something special as well. Wow. Jared Bowen is a player I'm looking that I could potentially use as part of a deal with someone else. Uh, you we might as well loan out as well. Okay. I just want a lot of players to get a lot of first team football. We're going to struggle through this year with a, a very light squad, I think. I think it's going to be worth it. To see the younger players develop. Uh, Gillingham. Miller is asking if he can start the game. You know what? We will. We'll make a few uh, changes. Let's bring Millet on in place of Kamavinga. Uh, Gilmore, you can start as well. Jared Bowen will protect De La Vega. Let's start with a different centre-back pairing of these two. And we'll bring a Kuna in as well. Why not? There we go. We're going to keep Felix on there. Wanting to score his first goals for the club. Akuna's up to a 69 now, which is good. He's catching up the rest of the team. So we just need to beat Gillingham if we can. 4-0 win. Two for Gilmore and two for Ferreira up from the bench. Fantastic. That's what we needed. Still no goal for Felix, though. But at least we've got some of our form in. Uh, Manchester City is our next opponent. Wow. It's not the easiest start to the season, is it, really? Tezar's gone out on loan. Um, a transfer off for Jeremy Doku. We're going to say a no to that one. And then this shadow offer could be a no as well, which we've already done. Okay. So we need to strengthen our squad back up then. Um, so let's bring... Ferreira back in. I don't know why Ferreira's unhappy for. I literally took him out for one game. He still came off the bench and scored twice anyway. And he's unhappy. Uh, Alright, so Castaneda, who's now an 80. Why have I become a finger at CDM? I have no idea. Um, yeah, Castaneda's an 80 now, which is nice. Um, so we've got Jalo. We're going to keep Akuna on the bench, I think. Uh, and then we need to bring somebody else on. That's it, the Catlier in place of the goalkeeper. We don't need the keeper on the bench. And we'll do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. Okay. I mean, I'm happy with it to an extent, but we are playing Manchester City. So I'm happy, but it doesn't mean we're going to win anything, does it? Really, let's face it. 
Right, Jello offer retracted, that's fine. We don't want to sell him now anyway. We need to keep a hold of him for this year. Players leaving on international duty. Thankfully, now we're in the Premiership, we should get the time off. Uh, Manchester City, then, here we go. I mean, I'm not expecting anything here, to be honest. We got two. We actually got a goal though. Jao Felix got a goal. His first goal for the club. As we lose two one to Man City. Right. So we're currently in the relegation zone, which is not a good place to be this time of the season. Uh, Jiang gets up to a sixty two. Marinescu uh, sat at sixty five and a bit. Right. We finally got some scout reports. What have you got for me? Max Ahrens, hopefully. Simakan, Max Ahrens, okay. Um, interesting. Oh, we're not selling him, no. Right, let's have a look then. Right, what have we got here? So, 77 rated, 79 rated. 27 Ks on. Ruddy L. Um, he's been approached by Athletic Club. We know he's got a good enough potential for us, though. And if we can get him for 2 million, we are laughing. Right, we're just going to end up having to pay a decent amount of wages for him. About 20k. So let's go in for Aaron's again. Uh, approach to buy. We're going to begin negotiations. I mean, Bowen's probably on quite a high wage anyway. And it means we're going to get rid of Bowen. It would cost us 6 million. So this is effectively going to cost us 8 million, which is great, really. For a player of this value. Uh, so wingers. Jared Bowen. Uh, which they're happy with. They want. I'm going to be even more cheeky this time. And see. Because we got uh, accepted a one point. We got accepted a two million pound offer last time. I'm going to offer 1.5 this time. See what happens. They want two. Um, Go on then. We'll, we'll accept that. We'll, we'll accept the two. And there we go. Right. So now we need to just give Max Aaron's the correct wages. He's on 27k at the moment, which I don't really want to match. We probably could do, to be honest. We're in the Premiership now. We're making money, don't get me wrong, but... Right, so he wants to be important, which he will be. He wants a four-year deal, which we'll accept. We don't want a release fee, which we'll disregard. He wants 41k. What? Ruddy Nora. Remove the bonus. Okay, well, we took the bonus off at least. We've got ourselves a good player. More money than I want to spend, to be honest, on those wages. Because he is going to end up... Well, he's, he's good. He is good. I don't think he's going to be a long-term asset for us. Don't get me wrong. But at least it's going to improve the squad for now uh, as Aaron's comes in. Right, there we go. So we've still got 28 odd million to spend, which I think I'll leave until January just in case we spot any players whose contracts are coming to an end. What I will do though is I will head into the youth staff area and look to see if there's any more five star, five star there is. Altu Timonen comes in, another five star, five star scout. And that's it, okay. Uh, okay, so we'll keep pushing forward. Once we get the three five star, five stars in, that's when I'll probably try and align them all again. Or is it fun just to have mixed and matched around? Maybe it's fun to have mixed and matched around. You know. Maybe we could do. Uh, Havertz went to Real Madrid for 116 million. We couldn't afford that. I mean, getting Felix for the price we did, I think, was, a, was an absolute masterstroke. Esposito we're going to keep because he does have a potential of over 90. Uh, he does on us anyway. He's, uh, with the dynamic potential has done him pretty well. We're going to reject the offer of the goalkeeper because we need to keep him. As our backup, in case anything happens. Plus, we know he's got a potential of over 90 as well. I would like to loan a few more out if we get a chance, to be honest. But it's not looking great at this point in time. Unless we get any last minute. Is an offer come in? Who's that for? Billy Gilmore. 13 million. We're going to reject that. I think we need him on the bench this year. Maybe next year when the likes of Akuna and that have leveled up a bit. Maybe we can accept that offer. But at the moment, we need to keep a hold of him. Uh, transfer offer for Linz. Again, 
We know the guy's got a potential of over 90, so he gets kept. Let's keep pushing. Right, uh, Simican. Okay, loan offer from Moretti on a year's loan. And from Trasnasbor, we'll let that go. It's good if we do this because it means that we're still going to have some players. Um, but it means we can actually concentrate on the players that we have kept. The rest that are out on loan can go and do what they do. Is that the confirmation of the loan going out? I think it probably is. And there we go, that's the end of the window. End of the window. Right, let's check the youth squad. 90 to 94. Great. 76 to 90. 75 to 89. 72 to 88. 81 to 87. 79 to 89. 85 to 94 for the, the new lad. Which is good. And then Voss is looking good as well. Okay. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. Right. So we know this guy is good. He's our scout of future stars. So we know he's going to be really good. Uh, you... Hopefully he's going to be good as well. Just saw his value. Nearly a million. That's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's take Hulk Backman up. Because we know he's good. Why have you t offered him now? Why are these people making offers now? Make it on the deadline day. Uh, Chelsea wanted Doku for 31.4 million. Reject that, but I might have accepted before. And I'll tell you what, I'll let these two go. I don't like having any I don't like the way that loans work on this game in January, where they go from January to January. But normally what I do is at the end of the season is I just bring them all back. I just cancel the loan, but okay, we'll let those guys go out. And let's continue pushing forward then. Right. Loan offer for Moretti as well from Genk. That must have fallen through then. Or is it this has not been confirmed yet? Stupid, isn't it? Absolutely stupid. Right. Hopefully we've got a couple of easier games coming. Right. West Brom, the team that got promoted up with us. Um, loaned out. Uh, will take place. Yeah, as soon as it... Oh, I don't know. It doesn't say it won't go through until uh, January, but that is the case. Because I'm sure they'll still be in the club now, won't they? They're still in the club? Oh, Aaron's has gone up to an 80 already. Uh, yeah, they still sit in the club, don't they, until, until it comes through to the time. Okay. Not a problem. Right, so West Brom awaits. This is the sort of game we need to get the three points in. Uh, Marinescu gets up to a 66. Uh, what's that now? That's Marinescu up six and Zhang up six. Good. We're getting there with those two. Uh, West Brom and Jowin. This is the game we have to get a win in now. We've got our strongest team out. Max Aaron's making his debut. And we get the 1-0 win. Goal from Ferreira. Oh, thank God for that. We needed those three points desperately to get us out of that bottom four. Bottom four, bottom three, should I say. Uh, Zhang gets up to a 63. Lovely jubbly. Uh, let's check Brendan O'Carroll. Let's see what he's found us. I can't remember where I sent him, to be honest, but Scotland it was, wasn't it? Ah, you know what? He's not done too bad here. He's not done too bad. Um, I'm going to take all these potentially good ones because I feel like I'm going to delete this now and start again anyway. Um, with the scouts, because I want to get all three scouts lined up. Uh, let's do that then. It depends if there's another five-star, five-star scout available. If there is, then we can just cancel that enough now. Five star, five star? No. Okay. Okay, well, I'll go forward a few more days then. See how we get on. Uh, loan offer for Chao Gomez from Dennis Spore. That can go ahead. Let's get these players playing games. That's the main thing. West Ham next. About the same start of the season we have. Another offer for Gomez. I accept it, but it's all down to him, mate. Yeah, West Ham had the same start as us. Four points from five games. So it's a game we might have a chance in. 
Let's see. They've lost three in a row. Southampton, Wolves and Aston Villa. And we got it. Ferreira with a hat trick. Nice. Very, very nice. That's great. That's a great result, that is. As now we get Brighton in the FA, uh, the EFL Cup, shall I say. Uh, Marinescu up to a 67. That's seven points he's up now. So, of course, we need to get him up by 10 points, then play him in 10 games to complete that mission. Um, okay, let's keep pushing. Davis wants to play. I don't really want to take the risk, to be honest, because we, it is a pretty difficult game, I think. Uh, okay, youth staff. Let's have a little look for the five star, five star. There we go, Oliver Madsen. Right. So, three five star, five star scouts now. So, let us recall this scout. And then, when he's come back, we'll send all three out. Uh, that's spent quite a bit of our transfer budget, isn't it? But there we go. We're going to stick with the same squad. Uh, we're in a bit of form at the moment, so we want to just keep that form going. It's a 4 0 win. Excellent. Uh, one for De Ketlier, one for Felix, and two for Ferreira as well. Right, and then next it's going to be Bournemouth. But now we can do our scouty doughties. Right, play injured, dead leg, three days of Vanderfort, that's fine. Uh, Brendan O'Carroll wants to start scouting again. Now we're three five star, five star scouts, we should hopefully start bringing in some cracking players. So I think first things first, we're going to get everyone to scout their home nation because I still think that, that is a good thing to do. Uh, Oliver Madsen, let's get you into Danish Mark. Good old Danish Mark. And Brendan O'Carroll into Ireland. Scout Republic of Ireland. See if you find any players there. Right, there we go. Right, Bournemouth now in the league. Gomez goes out on loan. Excellent. I'm looking forward to seeing how these players progress this season. I think we'll have a quick look now, actually, while we're, we're almost finished the episode now, which is good because it's been a really long one this time around, hasn't it? So if we do attributes already, look at changes. Of course, you can ignore the top two because they're the ones who've been training. So Van der Voort's gone up two. Linz has gone up two. We've seen Ferreira up one. Esposito's gone up one. Felix up one. Uh, Merkia is up one as well. Doku's up one. Uh, Chao Gomez, where is the Yak on loan? Has gone up by one. Moretti's gone up by one. De Ketlier's gone up by one. Millet up by one. Mads, uh, Franson out on loan. Latkovic. Ardvark. Akuna is up to a 70 now. Lovely. Vajnaman. Uh, Max Aaron. Sturgeu. Ampadu. Kasten Yeda. Hugh Davis. Uh, Bratti Niao. All up by one point already. Nice. Got a few of these players that have only just gone out on loan, so hopefully they'll get a lot of game time. We'll see them go up even more. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Right. Uh, Bournemouth. Big game again. They've won three in a row, Bournemouth. They're looking pretty damn strong. But we get a 2-1 victory away from home at Bournemouth. Wow. Two goals for João Felix. Get us the win. That is a massive, massive result for us. It's a huge result. That's a real turnaround for us as well. Right, Marinescu goes... Oh, three A's for him. That's pretty good. Uh, gets up halfway through to the 68 level already. And I think that's now going to see us out for the end of this video. Our next game is going to be Man United in the league. Wow. It'd be great to finish like mid-table or even try and sneak our way into the Europa League spot. That'd be fantastic as well. There we go. Right, so let's have a quick look at the news before we finish things off. So, uh, players going on international duty. It's fine. Uh, we've seen a club coming for Aardvark on loan. We'll accept that. Uh, and let's have a look at the youth squad monthly report. 81 to 91. 72 to 92. 70 to 90. 76 to 94. 78 to 94. 79 to 87. Sorry, bye-bye. 79 to 93, 80 to 94. So we're looking pretty good still. Um, we need you to develop a bit better. I think you're going to be... Uh, I'm just going to get rid of you now because you're going to be crap. Right, so these are the ones we're looking at now. Okay, that's good. Right, we'll leave it there for an episode then. It's been a long one, I don't know. But of course, these first ones of the season are always very important to get the transfers done and get the team ready to go. 
Looks like we have had a few more stat increases. Let's have a quick look at the stat increases again now. It's this new month, so we do have some extras, I think. Uh, so we go attributes. There we go. Increase. Uh, boom. There we go. So, yeah, we've seen... Yeah, Freire's up to the Catlier, Linz, Van der Voort all up to. So, uh, and the rest, are hopefully we're going to see plus ones on a lot of these players. Now, we are still not some of the players out on loan, though, which is annoying. I want to see those move up quicker than this, but at least the players that we are keeping a hold of at the moment are definitely going in the right direction. That's the main thing. Anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please do hit a like. Of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Chevy Gamer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.